How's it going? My name is John with Backbird Productions and welcome back to another video. First off, super quick, I just want to apologize. I'm under the weather a little bit today, so if my voice sounds a little bit more monotone than usual, that's why. Second, I'd like to thank my first Patreon, Jeff, for contributing to the Patreon. If you guys don't know, I actually just recently put together a Patreon page for this channel so you can support me as a small creator by using the link in the description below. So with that, let's get into today's video. So the first thing you should consider before purchasing a 2024 Tesla Model 3 Performance is setting up your Wi-Fi. Setting up a reliable Wi-Fi access point for your Tesla is important for ensuring that the car can receive software updates as soon as they become available. These updates often bring new features, bug fixes, and performance improvements, so you don't have to miss out on any of them. For optimal connectivity, I personally use the Asus Zen Wi-Fi AX6600 mesh system. Um, and essentially it's a mesh system that you can add on additional Wi-Fi routers to expand your coverage across wherever you live. So I live in an apartment complex, so I have two routers distributed throughout my apartment and I have one router in my garage area. And that is enough to reach into the garage where I can get reliable Wi-Fi from there. And just for perspective, I actually live on the third floor of my apartment complex. So this Wi-Fi mesh system works pretty well when it comes to range. It provides great coverage throughout my living space and I've configured three nodes, one of which is positioned in my garage to ensure a strong signal for my Tesla. The setup not only guarantees seamless updates, but also allows for smooth streaming and connectivity for other smart devices in or around my car. So the second thing is around ordering and setting up your charging infrastructure, or rather your chosen charging method for this car. It might seem like an obvious step, but ideally before you take delivery of your Tesla, you have to have this set up in order for it to charge overnight. Charging at home is one of the most convenient aspects of owning an electric vehicle, and to make the most of it, you need to have the right setup. Rather, you opt in for Tesla's wall connector for faster charging speeds or a standard 240 volt outlet. Planning and installation should be done well in advance. This preparation not only ensures that you can start driving right away without frequent stops at public chargers, but it also offers peace of mind knowing your car is always ready to go with a full charge. The third thing is all about accessories, and this is the fun part. But before I get into it, my recommendation is to stick to only accessories that are essential for your Tesla. Try to avoid any unnecessary accessories like lighting strips or things like that, or, or just cosmetic items. The best approach is to invest in high quality items that add real value and functionality. So here are my top recommendations. Firstly, mud flaps. These protect your car's paint from debris, dirt, and road grime, especially during rainy or snowy conditions. My second recommendation is center console storage. These help keep your interior organized, making it easier to store and access smaller items like keys, wallets, or charging cables. Third is wheel locks. These provide an added layer of security by helping to prevent theft of your wheels and tires, which can be a concern, especially in urban areas. And they're especially useful if you find yourself in one of those uh, shady neighborhoods where you have to park your car overnight. So having that added level of protection, I think is pretty important. The fourth item is of course floor mats. High quality all weather floor mats can protect your car's interior from dirt, mud, and spills, preserving the resale value and maintaining a clean look overall. I've partnered with EV Base to provide all weather floor mats and you can use my link in the description below to receive a huge discount on your purchase. So the next thing you should consider before buying your 2024 Tesla Model 3 Performance is tint. You've heard me say that this car is like a fishbowl. It really is, guys. It's it's like a fishbowl. It's like 40% glass. Uh, and I think it's really important that you should consider getting tint. Ideally, you would want to schedule an appointment way in advance before you get the car because sometimes when tint is in high demand, like in the summer, there's a long wait time to get your appointment booked. So ideally, you want to do this right after you put in your order for the car. Every Tesla, including the Model 3 Performance, features a design that incorporates a significant amount of glass from the panoramic roof to the large windows. Because of this, it's important to invest in high quality tinting to protect 
protect both the interior and the occupants from harmful UV and infrared radiation. A premium tint with excellent heat reduction not only blocks out a significant percentage of UV rays, helping to prevent fading and damage in the interior materials, but also reduces the heat entering the cabin. This in turn keeps the interior cooler making it more comfortable for passengers and reducing the need to rely heavily on the AC system. Less use of the air conditioning means better efficiency, which can slightly extend your range over time. Investing in a good ceramic tint or carbon tint not only ensures the appearance of your Tesla, but also helps add privacy and protection. It's a small upgrade that can make a big difference, especially in hotter climates. So the last thing is becoming familiar with the Tesla delivery day checklist. This is something I'll provide in the description below, but essentially it's a comprehensive list that you can reference while taking delivery of your Tesla. So you can check things like the exterior, the interior, and it's essentially just a large checklist of common items that other owners have come across during their delivery days. So that way you can get those items checked out and addressed on site while you're there taking delivery of the car. So. That is the video. A Little bit of a shorter one, but I definitely enjoyed putting this information together for you guys. If you found this video helpful, feel free to just leave a quick like and also consider subscribing. I upload two Tesla videos per week and I have a plethora of wonderful content coming out soon. So with that, this has been John with Viper Productions and thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.